Naomi, I'm from Italy and you're watching Farm for Louis. Enjoy! I've just arrived in Isha. I'm going to go and meet up with Ben and Steve and make a bit of a plan for the day. I grabbed a, a little coffee, a bit of porridge, had a quick catch up with Steve and Ben. And Steve's had to shoot up to Clapham. And I think me and Ben are either going to head into London or we might go via here to do a bit of editing first and then head in. And we're meeting back up with the Vaga brothers, Mark and Alex. Let's see if we can find something fun to do. Right, we've swung past Ben's. He's grabbing his jacket and some bits and bobs. And then we're off. Off to London. Well, Ben's editing his vlog, getting some productive time in whilst we're driving. And I'm trying to find somewhere to park in London, which is either free or cheap. And I'm avoiding the congestion zone. Me and Ben have arrived in Shoreditch, and we're gonna try and find somewhere to sit down with our laptops, have laptop club, and eat food and maybe drink coffee. Right, me and Ben have been sitting in here for literally like three hours editing and chilling. And we've just met up again with Mark and Alex. Yo! How's it going? And we're thinking getting Barclays bikes and going for a little adventure. around London? Well, it's a bit hectic, but at least the handlebars are on the other side of the road. We're all good. <laughs> it's fun though, good way to see the city for sure. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. I think we lost my brother. Here they come. Yeah, we're too fast for them, they. They couldn't keep up. This is hectic. <laughs> I wish I had a helmet. <laughs> Are you enjoying the bike ride, Ben? Yeah, I'm going to have to do a bit more training now. My legs hurt. <laughs> Right, we made it. None of us died on the London roads. We had a few close calls though, didn't we? That was an experience. <laughs> that was an experience. So Ben's trying to get an Instagram of a plane flying overhead. We just need to wait for a plane now. We've arrived at the YouTube creator space. There's uh, some kind of seminar, like tutorial thing going on there tonight. And I think Ben and the Vaga brothers are going up to that. I might pop in for 10 minutes, but then I'm heading off with Josh. He's just arrived. Yeah. yeah, good. What are we doing tonight, bro? Uh, food. Because I'm, you know, very hungry. And then what are we doing? And then oh, I've got an interview at Radio 2, so that Radio should be fun. I'm a little bit nervous, actually. Oh, yeah. Like, it's silly. <laughs> right, me and Ben have just sat down and we are uploading our vlogs from yesterday. And it's actually uploaded too quickly. It's already, it's already uploaded and I haven't even like, set a thumbnail yet, so... Hopefully that updates the time. I'm literally having to head straight off. I only stopped here for like half an hour or something. And I didn't say, Darcy randomly was here. And she was like, are you in the YouTube space? And I was like, yeah. And then we get to hang out briefly tonight. And we're going on an adventure this weekend. Hopefully to the Isle of Wight, but I'll keep you updated. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> Right, so we've arrived at the BBC. Josh is going to be doing a little live interview with Radio 2 and I don't think I can film inside. So, we'll see you in a bit. Are you nervous, Josh? Yeah, I need a wheeze. There we go. I, <laughs> I need to wheeze when I get nervous. Um, so people have got lots of chances to see you over the summer, haven't they? You're doing many gigs and yeah. festivals as well. Yeah, I'm doing um, a lot of the festivals, which is, is fun. I'll sort of run in between stages, try and capture as many people as, as I can. Um, and then I've got my own gigs in October coming up. Uh, right, we've just come out the interview. I think Josh nailed it. How do you think it went? Mate, it was 
good. He's so lovely that like I kind of forgot I was talking in front of about two million people. Yeah. And it's chatted. I nearly told all my secrets, you know. It was good. It was really, really cool. And it was, uh, yeah, thanks for inviting me, man. That's what I mean. We're now, yeah, we're now going to get food because we haven't eaten yet. It's like half nine. Honest burger. Honest burger is where we've stopped it. This, this looks amazing. So we ended up finding a, a place to have a coffee. This all night, all night coffee shop uh, on Thrift Street, and we just sat down, had a little chat. We've also been people watching. It's quite cool just to sit down and uh, watch people walk by in London, all over. Today. Yeah, <laughs> you see some really interesting characters. We're now going to meet. Um, I think Ben's been in a bar down here with. Um, Mark and Alex, and I think they met up with some other people, so we're just gonna go and try and find them. Hey guys! Hey! Look at this, it's Charlie! We haven't seen each other in so long! <laughs> I'm so happy! <laughs> left Ronnie Scott and we've decided to cycle back to Shoreditch which is where Rodney is and then uh, and then we're gonna drop the boys back in Trizic and it's gonna be a late one but I feel re-energized and euphoric from listening to jazz for hours on end. So Alex and Mark are trying out the street you're for the first time. How, how is it? Do you know that these come out of the ground? Have you got stage fright now? I'm going. You're going? I'm gonna take I'm a wee on your leg. <laughs> <laughs> How is it pissing on the street? It should be like this everywhere. The world is one giant unflushed toilet and this is actually a great innovation in America. Get on board. <laughs> right, we are going on a night time cycle ride back to Rodney. finally got back to Shoreditch it's um, 20 past 4 in the morning and me and Ben parked here earlier with the uh, impression that we could just get the, our Rodney out at any time we told the guy maybe like 10 p.m. we're a little bit late but uh, this is what we come back to a, a, a closed gate Louis is also extremely skilled climber super nimble okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, dude, go for it. Okay. Can I leave you in my bag? Yeah, very right, cool. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're stealing your camera though, we're hijacking it. Okay. <laughs> guys, these guys are going to look after my vlog camera for a little bit. Wish me luck. Okay, interlude. He's gone. What a wild night. So, first topic, Boris bikes. We've been riding around Literally all day and night. Ten and a half hours, I think, and we started in the same place in Shoreditch and we've just got back. Ten hours later. Yeah. It's been pretty rad though. These are like, like I think the first time that we came to London, it was kind of like we saw Big Ben, we did like all the tourist stuff, but now we're on the Boris bikes exploring. Tours by Louis. Yeah. Well the battery just died but we swapped it into our camera. Basically the moral of the story is today has been totally insane Epic. and that Louis, Louis's like motto of Live okay. the adventure. He lives it. And we're here, like, you guys might be on the other side of that screen. We were before, now we're here with him and we'll tell you, living the adventure is a real day, everyday thing for him. And, and it's And you cool. don't sleep much, but, but it's fun. super fun. <laughs> Dude, I think the car just opened. Oh, no way! Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Made it! Let's go, jump right. in. See what we mean? This guy's a champ. <laughs> Things go. just happen. Okay, so after our joyous vlogging to the camera, we forgot that we were also watching Louis' bag, which is sitting now on the streets of Shoreditch at 5 in the morning. Is, is it 5? Yes. It's almost 5, yeah. Louis asked, 40. Louis asked us to watch his bag, and then he honked, as you guys saw on the camera, and we came running for the car, and in the excitement, 
of the moment. Of the moment the bag remains on the streets of Shoreditch. Is it down here? Yeah, it's yeah, like that. It's, it's literally... Going. I, you know who's got it? Probably Trevor, that oh, homeless shit. guy. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, fuck. Just wait a second. Let's it? talk, no. talk to the guy in the... One of you hop out. One of you hop out. We'll have a look at the streets. Talk to the security guard. Wait, there. two of you hop out. Run it either way. Right, guys. I don't usually panic, but I... I'm panicking now because someone has taken my bag and it's got my laptop, my DSLR camera and my passport in it. Uh, probably more valuable things as well and I desperately need to find it. So I'm, we're driving around seeing if we can see someone walking around with it. Okay guys, update. Still haven't found it. Um, I tried to ask some guys in the park if uh, they knew where stolen goods were taken to get sold or whatever. They weren't really helping. Um, I'm pretty gutted, to be honest. Just on the phone to the police, seeing if they can help. Well, I just got back to my parents' house. I'm supposed to be going out with my dad in two hours. It's been an interesting night, guys. Um, I'm pretty upset. I probably the most upset I've ever been on a vlog with you in you know and open with you guys about it I do tend to approach these kind of situations logically I'm very serious at the moment as you can tell um, I do I don't want to like blame Alex and Mark um, you know it was, it was accidental there's nothing deliberate about it it doesn't help my situation to um, put blame on someone I, I think super logically, I just think what is the most I can do to help with this situation and help me find my stuff. Uh, I've got a few ideas. What I'm going to do is sit tight for the rest of the day and uh, wait to hear back from the police because they've got my number and they're going to check security footage. Um, I mean, it's worth if any of you guys live in the Brick Lane area or know anyone that might know someone that, uh, I don't know, knows where you take stolen goods um, or try and you know where you can buy cheap laptops any of that stuff um, do ask around it'd be really helpful I might start a Twitter campaign and post pictures of all my stuff if the police uh, it can't help anyway uh, yeah so I guess um, just watch tomorrow's vlog to find out how this all goes and uh, yeah, I'll see you then.